Good afternoon, July the 12th, 2016. We came in today with the idea to be long and long period. Stops above 2150 was the idea. Uh, we had a 37 to 40 buy zone. Uh, didn't get it on the opening. Uh, the market had to uh, set back and it came back after 10 and corrected down to 30, I think 38.25. And so then again, the market just cranked and has traded up. Uh, going to get a strong close. Uh, we made another new contract high today, and we'll have a new um, contract um, high closing value too for the day. So I, it's not over. I, I forget uh, there's a money manager out of Los Angeles that doesn't believe in the rally, doesn't trust the stock market, but he said if they break it out and they made new highs, I think he said 2200 2235 was the next stop and so far there's nothing to prove him wrong. Um, just using the blue line as a filter letting the software work for you. Monkey trades, monkey trades, monkey trades. Uh, not trading the short side and we had no interest in the short side today. Nice retest failure trade set up here. It did produce some profits. Uh, then it's been kind of sideways into the close. Uh, but the idea was to find a place to buy and hang on for a test of 2150 and that's what we saw. The software did do its work and again I, I think one of the things that we all face as traders we all think we're so smart and when you get right down to it if we're guessing the future we <coughs> we really aren't that smart uh, and if you let the software work for you it tells you conditions are right uh, for the market to rally, to move sideways, whatever the case might be, or for the move to exhaust it itself. And if you'll, if the software, the market activity matches your idea, you got a pretty strong trade. If it doesn't, be careful if you're fading the market's moves. Work for that way. F1 screen on the E-mini, higher low, higher high, find a place to buy it. Uh, we're going to have a pretty strong P on the F2 screen. Uh, so my idea is we're headed above, we're going to at least get stops above, uh, how about F2? At least get stops above uh, 2150. So there's your profile, that's strong. Uh, first sell band is 49 to 51. We get above that, it's going to be 55 to 60 for sell two. On the buy, the breakout came from 42.50 or 46.50, so 40 to 43 by one, and then 35, 37 by two. So basically, trying to buy 35s to 37s. Um, don't have a lot of news tomorrow. My feeling is, if a, if a sell is going to develop, it's going to be tonight in London. If they decide to get after this and stop this, and uh, I think it comes in London, although. No central bank in the world will initiate that trade. Um, they'll be supporting the market as they have done. Do have news tomorrow. Import-export prices nobody will pay any attention to. Atlanta business inflation nobody will pay any attention to. We do have the EIA uh, inventory report for crude. They will pay attention to that. Uh, then the beige book, and then we'll pay attention to the beige book and see how strong the business is um, in the 12 Fed regions. So um, anyway, uh, today's idea worked out really, really well, and the software did its work. It's about all you can ask. Lower high, lower low. I mean, treasuries are getting smacked, and we had a lousy auction today. So they're going to have to, and they're hedged. They took big hedge positions on the, uh, um, yesterday on the three-year. So they're hedged into this auction. They don't have to get any more short, and that's the um, impetus. That's what will drive um, or support the market at some point. Might be next Tuesday before we see that. We have the 30-year auction tomorrow, and it uh, looks like it'll be coming at lower prices. Uh, definitely double distribution down in a week close. Uh, so we're going to have support here uh, in the um, 
9 to 8 to 12 area. That'll be by 1. Might take a 13 to get in, and then 1 to 5. We'll see what kind of support London brings to the market. I do believe there is a short left in the market. So we're at 15, so 16 to 20 will be sell 1. Then 23 to 27 for sell 2. Uh, I think there is one short. Uh, could see the low in London tonight. Could see the low in London tonight. Uh, the auction and the news and the support for the stock market uh, have all combined to take treasuries lower. And you've got the dollar problems uh, based with what's going on with the yen, based with what's going on with the euro. Now the euro and the dollar haven't changed much. Uh, the yen's been clobbered in relationship to the dollar. So the dollar, uh, as far as Asia and currencies that uh, where the yen is part of the basket is uh, done well. That's the second reason to buy. Always like to have a couple of reasons to be on the long side or the short side. Uh, another bad day in the 30 year. Definitely a B. Volume is below time. We're at 20, so resistance 1 is uh, 24 to 28. Selling 31s to 03. And then 7 to 11 as far as London goes. We'll take a look at that in the morning. On the uh, buy side, uh, you've got 12 to 16. Number 1, 5 to 9, buy 1. And uh, then we'll make it 25, 29 by 2. Market seems to be trading to 20, 24 before it finds support. So that might be a little aggressive on the buy side. Got to have a little fun doing this. And every now and then music hits a spot. I know when um, I'm feeling puny, uh, crank up the volume and crank up the music a little bit to get ready to trade. Okay, gold got whacked today. So... 1325, that little bulge, we have the low volume number down there at 8 to 20, 8 to 10, pretty easy to get there, especially if the stock market blows through uh, 2150 and keeps on going. No reason to own gold. Stock market's going up, right? Definitely a B, definitely selling. So we have that low right there at 36. We're at 34.50. Last rotate up was uh, 39. So um, this. 37 to 40 area, sell 1, 43, 45, sell 2. I still think gold's going to be bought on the break. Uh, we'll play for lower, 25, 27, put a question mark at 30. And then um, 19 to 21. Get through that uh, 20 area, my guess is we're looking at 1305, 1310. Crude oil. Man, what a strong market. Uh, the market started rallying today, um, outside day, if you can believe that, on the idea that we're going to have a great API report tonight, show a big draw. And it held it into the close. And uh, a lot of people believe that enough to stay long into the news. So we'll see what we get. Uh, they will also be anticipating a draw in the EIA numbers. They want to see that they match. Um, that's a hell of a rally, and it happened quickly. I do think there's probably some fun and games being played by central banks. I think that they've figured out that uh, um, the easiest way to support the stock market is to buy crude. 
this A period range extension and it works twice. I mean, if they take it out to the downside and it doesn't work, buy stop into the upside when you take out the A period high and vice versa. Uh, we had this little dent up here at 95. That's where we stopped. We're currently at 68 after the news. Uh, we got this high volume. So this uh, 47 area, 47 and a quarter sell one and we do have news coming then 50 to 75 sell two on the buy side the breakout came from 46 and a quarter so we do have news might help us 46 46 and a quarter buy one and then 45 50 45 75 buy two but we'll just have to see what the news is and pick it up from there One of the nice things about trading where nothing is tied together fundamentally or the rest of it, you don't have to be too damn smart. You have to be courageous. You have to take your signals, but you don't have to spend a lot of time. And crude is probably one market where you spend the least amount of time worrying about fundamentals. It is an exchange controlled contract. Uh, back a little after the year 2000 when the industry went to you could buy or sell the clothes and products in crude oil plus or minus two cents. Um, that changed the whole ball game where they didn't have to go and hedge futures which most people didn't like to do. They only did it because they had to. Okay the euro 1150 is where the seller is right now and 1050 is where the buyer. Higher low higher high. I think we're looking at a B though. Don't remember on the structure. Leaning B, especially if you do an I split. Not quite there. So we have our famous saddle formation. And if we don't break it, it's going to be pretty easy to get back up to that 1120 area. Um, <clears throat> don't think anything, anything any different. So selling 1150s, sell one. Sell two eleven seventy five. Uh, buy one ten seventy five. Buy two ten fifty. And we will see what happens. Had another good day. Um, we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Um, Hope you all have a great evening. It'll be hotter than the Dickens here with humidity to match due to last night's storms. But it is summer. Normally it's not like this here. We're pretty dry by this time of year, but not so this year. Y'all have a great evening. I'll see you bright and early in the a.m.